Hey Google, is Moldova worth visiting? On the website mywanderlust.pl, they say, Chisinau, Moldova, the most boring capital in Europe, yet still worth a visit. Good morning from Chisinau, the capital of Moldova. If you're new around here, we're Molly and Matt, and we quit our jobs two years ago to travel the world. We recently flew to Cyprus for a week, which was so hot, and then we flew back to Romania for series two, which actually leads us to Moldova, our newest destination. And we are exploring so much of this amazing country, which is actually one of the least visited in Europe. There will be some great food, some amazing wine and beer, of course, and stunning scenery. So make sure you stick around to watch our journey through Moldova and we will show you why you need to visit this beautiful country. Quickly, I definitely do not agree with Google. Moldova might be Europe's least visited country, but we are 100 percent gonna change that this country has amazing wines some cool architecture some really really interesting regions and possibly the cheapest beer in Europe so we are very very happy we actually got the bus down is it down or up we got the bus up from Bucharest to Chisinau it took about eight hours we got the night bus and we've made it we have made it to Moldova we've heard so many cool things about this country we're like we've got to go there we have seen like not many people go there more people need to come here which is why we are here and we are here at the Thomas Albert Hotel in the heart of the city the capital city of Chisinau before we head out on our first day exploring this really unique cool city I need to show you around where we are staying we definitely slept for way too long yesterday and last night actually because our bed is unbelievably cozy. I've actually tried oh to tidy God, it. Oh my God, that night bus, like it was a really good bus, Flix bus. I'd highly recommend it but we just can't do night buses I yeah, don't sleep. Yeah I mean night buses they're not they're ideal if you want to get up the next day but we just couldn't do it so we spent all night in this beautiful oh my bed. God, it's sleek. So cozy I love the decor in here like it has this headboard which is just really unique it's like a carpet almost you also have this sign here it's actually how we worked out that Google was there because we accidentally said that and it set an alarm and woke us up at 7 a.m which was not the best we have our TV our desk for my editing love the photos of Chisinau and parts of Moldova like I think that's a really unique Oh do you know touch. what else it has next to the Google why it's really high tech wireless phone charger oh, well, we don't need to show it but it's got no, a wireless phone really, charger which really is a really cool. nice touch and then we have a gorgeous sleek modern bathroom and it has a really cute sign that says get naked and relax <laughs> I love that the weather looks great hold on hey Google what is the weather like today fingers crossed right now in Chisinau it's 73 degrees and sunny Today, it'll be mostly sunny, with a forecasted high of 74 and a low of 52. <laughs> Let's go and explore Chisinau. We have actually already had breakfast downstairs at the hotel, which was actually a really good breakfast, really good quality, and had loads of different options. And now we're ready to explore. Matt has actually already been to the gym as well. He is on it today, but we are heading basically a two minute walk from our hotel to Stefan the Great Park. It's basically a famous park, and we're gonna go and sit in there and relax the morning while it is beautiful and sunny out. How cute is this? So Chisinau supposedly has a really thriving calf culture so that is why we've got it's midday and if you know us it, would normally, it us. would normally be beer time but we have got a coffee here in the central park it's really like it comes a bonjour calf it's really quirky it's a bit of an edgy calf right in the center of Chisinau it's really green it is a really really green city it's like first impressions of it I didn't expect that you expected more of like the brutalist architecture not just such a beautiful green city and this is apparently lovers park people come here um not Your to make day. not not to make love <laughs> to fall in are you falling in love molly oh maybe mm. that was quite cute wasn't it was it? coffee's better felt a 
little bit weird having a coffee in this sort of heat, I'm not going to lie, but it was actually a really, really nice coffee and a lovely park to sit in. As you exit the park, there is the monument of Stephen the Great, Stefan the Great, however way you want to pronounce it. Um, and actually, it's also the name of the main boulevard, Boulevard Stephen the Great. Uh, and he was a really important person in Moldovan history and he was the Prince of Moldova. Um, and I think there's a lot of things dedicated to him and we're just basically going to check out all of the things that you should see here in Chisinau and luckily they're only a couple of minutes walk away from each other. See, Moldova is not just brutalist and Soviet architecture. Behind me is the Arc de Triomphe of Chisinau. It was actually uh, made to commemorate soldiers in 1840, defeating the Ottomans. I'm thinking, how green is it? It's so green. It's really and green. One park to another park. It's perfectly central here. I think this is the dead center of Chisinau. You can't get any more center than here. And it also has the cathedral behind that you have to see. So it's pretty easy. Go to the main boulevard, walk along the main boulevard, see the main sites. Here is the cathedral. I love it when everything's so close to find. When you can walk from place to place, I feel like you really get to see so much more of the city. When things are really like spaced out, you just pick and a choose. A vast city is just too much. We can now see everything, and actually, the that's not the cathedral. I think that's like the clock tower, as with most churches or cathedrals, you, you always have one. It. It would be nice if you could, but I don't think you can. The actual cathedral is called the Nativity Cathedral. It was built back in the 1830s. It was destroyed during World War II. And during the Soviet Union, it was used as an exhibition center. And now it is reformed in all of its glory and is used as right a cathedral. There's even a the wedding Arc going on. I know, people are filming for a wedding. Right in front of the Arc de Triomphe. Chisinau. It is their draft, it is their most famous beer here in Moldova, I believe. And we have come into La Placente, which is basically a chain. It's like a traditional restaurant chain that's really affordable. So a beer, I told you it was cheap, less than a pound for a draft pint of beer. Taste test. Taste test. First taste of the Chisinau. Chisinau. <laughs> Chisinau. I'll be able to set probably after a few more of these. I mean, it's light, it's crisp, it's blonde. It's a lager for less than a pound. Yeah. Like this is what we're saying. People are saying that not many people travel here. Come out for a night out in Chisinau and you can drink 10 of them for less than 10 English pounds. I am a fan of the Chisinau beer for sure. This place has so much on the menu. Like I feel like we could literally sit in here for hours and eat everything. But we're gonna try something really, really new for what we've been trying recently. And that is the Koltunasi Kubranza, which are basically cheese dumplings. And in Moldova, cheese dumplings come in two varieties. You basically have a hard working dumpling and then you have lazy dumplings. Now, I don't really know which one's which with these, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Obviously it comes with sour cream, just pure cheese filled goodness. Oh my god, they are so good. It's almost like a pasta, and it's just so filled with like really salty cheese, and then you just coat it in sour cream. So in Moldova, it seems like you get a real cross in the cuisine. You sort of get your Russian influence with the dumplings, but then you get the big Romanian influence. So there's a lot of dishes we look on the menu here, and like, oh, we've tried that, we've tried that, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. So polenta, which is sort of like a maize cornbread type thing, is like the number one thing to try in Moldova, but obviously we've tried it a lot in Romania, but here the polenta surrounds and it becomes like a... Dropped it. The polenta becomes a ball and inside the so stuff it unique. with cheese. And I've just dropped it straight in the dumplings. Are you going to dip it in? Oh, you didn't even dip it in sour cream. Mm, that is good. It's really garlicky with cheese. It's almost like a, you know, like a garlic dough ball. Is it? But made out of polenta. 
Now, we have had this so many times in other places, specifically Romania, but this is so different. So we ordered the papanash, um, and they're tiny little fried balls this time, still with the sour cream and the jams. I am looking forward to this because it is gonna be different to having the deep fried donuts. These are like tiny little bites. Oh, they are good. Slightly different texture, a little bit thicker. I like the fact that they're so small though. They're like almost little dough balls, which is really, really cute. Wow, all that food. So four pints of beer, two mains and one dessert come to less than 10 English pounds in a relatively fancy restaurant in the centre here of Chichen. This is why I'm saying you need to come here. You can get beers, you can get great food for a really reasonable rate. I'm not saying all of Chichen is incredible, far from it, um, but there are parts that are really beautiful. You can find high-end restaurants, you can find amazing parks to chill out in, but then again, it does have that cool Soviet architecture, which is one of the things I was really interested in coming here to see and none better than the National Hotel, a hotel that's just sitting there in the past. When the Soviet Union collapsed in 91, this was probably left here, it was a state-owned hotel, and since then it's seen better days. Now it's more of a, you know, you've got the water fountain there, it's just a derelict building sitting here in the main high street of Chisinau. To start with mind, you've got, behind you've got fancy skyscrapers go up, and then you've got this old Soviet hotel just sitting there all gloomy but a really cool sight to see. So the National might be closed but just across the road is the even more Soviet Hotel Chisinau. You can actually do a specific Soviet tour here in Chisinau but we're going to do it ourselves in a few days and we were walking back and through our park that we showed you earlier there is a Soviet statue. I don't know I what this is, a Soviet, a Soviet statue with a Soviet mosaic built in, it's like a two in one. Yeah, it's a two in one and it is kind of crazy, we're inside it as you can tell, I'm, I'm on a slant so I'm not far off falling right down but it's quite colourful. So this is actually in Stefan the Great Park, which we were in earlier having our coffee, like you said it's really nice, it's quirky, it's got nice coffee shops, nice bars, all in here, but then you get this, you get, oh my god and he fell in it, you get this huge Soviet statue with the mosaic in the middle. This is what I mean. Chisinau is really is a two-in-one. Now rock, a quick change, and I have found the best little hole in the wall in all of Chisinau. This is Marlene, which is basically like a courtyard that has no sign, it just so specializes secret. in special cocktails of Chisinau. I'm gonna call this the Chisinau Mule. It's kind of fitting, right? You're fancy. That's good. I love the backdrop though. You would never know it was here. It's completely hidden. We've gone so posh tonight. Yeah, we couldn't come to a fancy cocktail place and not go all out. We have a cheese board. Like, would you even believe this? Thank, Thank you. you so much. I don't even know what I'm going to start with first. I'm probably just going to go straight in with the cheese and the jam. Well, what cheese is it? It's cheese balls. I think that's the Gouda. Mm, it's good jam as well. You need to thank me for stumbling into this spot. This is really the hidden gem of Chisinau, like everyone said. This is why you come to Chisinau. It has everything. It has your cheap beer. It also has your fancy restaurants with cocktail bars and cheese boards. We've got oh, our blue it. cheese. We've got our gouda. We've got our parmesan. And we've yeah. got, we've just got a lot going on. Even got a craft beer. So this is a local lager from the area. I Not cannot remember the name. Fancy, but better. Oh, that's really nice. It's not too hoppy. I never normally like craft beers, especially lagers, because I'm a lager man, but that is amazing. And the cheese dipped in. Wow. What a sleep. Wow. We have slept so well here on our first night in Kishnau at the Thomas Albert Hotel, and it was amazing. I actually feel super groggy. I've had to open the window, let some fresh air in, but good morning, guys, and welcome back to Kishnau here in Moldova. And our first day was was really good actually you know i really enjoyed exploring and checking out some nice restaurants having some traditional food and then going for cocktails which was actually a lovely thing we never do that we only ever drink beer and um, so it was really nice to try something new and have a cheese board like who do we think we are so fancy but no wonder i slept really well no nightmares you are supposed to have nightmares when you have cheese we didn't have any we just had a really good sleep i'm super excited to have our second day here in Chisinau. um i hope that you have enjoyed watching our Kishina video and that you'll stay tuned for the rest of the series. So we will see you for more exploring and adventure in Kishinau in the next one.